The Heart and Vascular Institute at Memorial is a team, everybody involved in trying to provide cutting edge, top of the line technologic care for patients who have cardiac issues. Well, our hearts beat over 42 million times a year. That's quite a bit. And over, over the years, that takes a, a toll in terms of wear and tear. As we get older, the valves become narrowed or they start to leak. When they become narrowed or severely diseased, that can be life-threatening. Majority of these patients have a progressive decline in their functioning capacity. That would mean they can't go for long walks, they become tired very easily, and as it continues to get worse, even daily chores, like taking care of themselves, brushing their teeth, taking a bath, cooking a meal for themselves, become so affected that they're basically becoming more and more disabled. I was short of breath. I couldn't do anything. I'd walk from, say, my bedroom to the kitchen, and by that time I was, I'd have to stop and, and get my breath. I, I just, just couldn't breathe. I'm really a very active person, and to get that diminished was, my quality of life wasn't what I wanted it to be. Heart valve disease can be a, a deadly entity, so it's important that we address it aggressively. And up until now, the only way to treat valve disease has been with open surgical procedures, people getting their valves replaced with an open heart operation. My option was open heart surgery, and I wasn't about to go go through that. I just couldn't see it. I'm a coward, and I didn't want to go through that. So I was just going to just you know go as long as I could and do what I could. We're seeing a revolution in taking care of people's valves. Over the last 10 to 15 years, the engineers have taken technologies which were originally developed for treating hardening of the arteries and applied it to taking care of valves. It actually utilizes the wire skills that is offered by the cardiologist with the surgical skills that is offered by the surgeons to um, replace the valve through um, a puncture hole, in, really in the groin, uh, and avoid a big incision, avoid uh, going in the heart-lung machine, and um, avoid stopping the heart altogether. It has been found over the last five years that this transcatheter approach uh, is as safe and as effective as the open surgical approach in selected patients. Dr. Dar gave me this uh, pamphlet explaining this, this procedure and it sounded good and I told my kids about it and everybody got real enthused about it. And I think it was less, a little over half an hour. And when I came out, my, I'd call my daughters and they came down there and they were in the recovery room waiting for me and I came in and they said the minute I opened my eyes, I looked around and I said, I can breathe. That's the first, first thing I said. It was just like being born again almost. It just made such a big difference. I came home, I could start gardening again, and you know, it just, it was just wonderful. The last piece of the puzzle in putting the Structural Heart Program together, giving us the ability to offer uh, aortic valve replacement uh, in a, in a non-open heart procedure is the acquirement of two pieces of, of, of equipment. These two pieces of uh, cardiac equipment are essential for the success for our program. And I feel uh, if given an opportunity when integrated into our TAVR program, they'll make our program not only successful, but superior. Sometimes um, the procedure doesn't go as planned. And when it doesn't go as planned, you need to have a backup plan. And the backup plan in this situation is to go back to the conventional approach, where you put the patient on the heart-lung machine and uh, replace the valve the conventional way. These two pieces of equipment are dependent upon the willingness of people here tonight to chip in and make sure we have them. By bringing this kind of revolutionary technology to the uh, Norma and Everett Persons Heart and Vascular Institute here at Memorial Hospital, we're going to be able to bring that technology home. It would have been so much better to have it done here, so much better, because you've got your family around you and your familiar surroundings, and, and you can, I don't know, 
you just, you have your family. It, it is um, our responsibility, all of us in, in healthcare, whether it's physicians, surgeons, cardiologists, administrators, um, to bring this technology to this hospital and offer it to our patients because it really works. 